north and the east. Now it's all making it all the way down here. So uh, get ready. Yeah, not yeah. here though. But I mean, it's gonna. We're gonna get the rain. Luckily, we're not gonna get all that that snow and ice. Yeah, we're we're at the the tail end of this uh, front and the the low pressure area that's that's creating this mess across the Tennessee Valley uh, right now. And and for us, it's only gonna be rain, but uh, it's gonna be some very cold air as well. Uh, so. Get ready. Just, <laughs> no, bundle just up. Get ready. Yeah, you, you're you're riding Zulu. I a you're pointing at the wrong person. She is yeah. riding Zulu. Okay, well, look uh, <laughs> now. So bundle up. Get uh, yeah. ready. I'm, it's gonna already, be fun. I have though. some thermals already. <laughs> <laughs> My yeah. outfit is out. <laughs> Coconuts <laughs> and me shivering for a little bit. But it'll be fun though. It'll Can't wait fun. to see you out there. Can't wait to see you out there. Well, let me uh, let me start with the headlines for today. Mostly cloudy skies are going to be with us today and, and for the most part tomorrow as well. Rain is moving in late this afternoon and for tonight and the very cold air is going to be here tomorrow. But right now we just had some uh, spotty shower activity uh, with us across the area and this is the type of rainfall I'm expecting for the rest of the morning and into the afternoon as well. The worst of the rain makes its way into our area late afternoon and into the evening hours but it's not going to be anything like what's taking place across parts of uh, Kentucky and into um, most of, the, if not all, of the Tennessee Valley right now. A lot of this is making its way to the south. Of, so if you are from or headed towards uh, northern Mississippi or Alabama, even uh, parts of Atlanta, expecting some snowfall over the course of today and tomorrow because of this low pressure area that's making its way in that direction. It's going to bring us the rainfall later on this evening, and all the cold air that's behind that front is also headed this way. We're not going to find our temperatures at minus nine degrees like Cleveland right now, or eight degrees like Chicago, but our temperatures. On the North Shore, we're going to be very similar to Memphis, which is at 27 degrees uh, this morning. Right now, here's what I'm expecting later on this afternoon. This is at uh, 3 o'clock this afternoon. That line of showers finally making its way into southeast Louisiana, affecting parts of southwest Mississippi before then. Uh, it makes its way into the South Shore by about 5 or 6 p.m. this evening. So that's when we can expect those uh, showers and storms to arrive here. Uh, definitely affecting Laplace, parts of Kenner, into Metairie at that time. Maybe a little bit later than that for us that down in the uptown, downtown area as well. So for the parades, if you're out early, you know, four, five, four to five, you might be in pretty good shape. But if you stay out later than that, expect some showers and some storms to affect your your parading and your your festivities. A lot of that rainfall stays with us for the evening hours. By midnight tonight, most of it is uh, to the east of us. We clear out uh, overnight tonight. The cloud cover returns tomorrow morning. The temperatures drop, but overall, uh, the weather. No, no rainfall. I'm not expecting much in terms of rainfall for your Tuesday, except in the early morning hours, just the winds and some very cold temperatures. So right now at the airport, 60 degrees, mostly cloudy skies, 86% humidity. The winds out of the south at three miles per hour. Here's a look at your hour by hour forecast. This afternoon, uh, I think it's going to be you know warm. I mean, temperatures are going to rise into the uh, the mid 70s, low to mid 70s for the most part. Notice those winds at 15 to 20 miles per hour this afternoon and into the evening hours when the rain. Is uh, falling as well. If you're making plans for uh, Lundy Gras Festival, the Zulu Lundy Gras Festival, overall for the rest of the morning, the early part of the afternoon, you're in pretty good shape. As you get later into the afternoon, your rain chances go up. The temperature's up to about 74 degrees for that for Proteus and Orpheus. Again, for the most part, much better shape with those parades ro running earlier. But the later you're out, the more likely you are to see the showers and storms. And here's a look at your Fat Tuesday forecast. And look at those temperatures. Susan, I know you are not too happy about temperatures in the 30s when you start that Zulu parade tomorrow. But the good news is that on uh, Wednesday, we're up into the mid-50s. No, well, you know.